Hi everybody, I'm Dee Lennox. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I want to share with you a very cool recipe that my mother taught me as a young girl growing up. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, one of the Caribbean islands, and one of the things we ate all the time was salted codfish, as we called it, saltfish. Okay? Now this dish is really popular in a lot of cuisines. Uh, the Portuguese people eat it all the time. They eat it with potato. Italians eat it with um, olives. Um, it's just very popular in Canada as well. So what I'm going to share with you today is a little bit about how we do it in my culture. Today I'm using salted cod from Canada. And this package is a 14 ounce package. Basically, um, this, the cod, the way it's preserved is through salt. They dry it and then they salt it. Crazy salt it. So what you have to do is get some of the salt out. So what I did before I started doing this with you today is I went ahead and boiled the salted cod for like 5 to 10 minutes in cold water. I drained it, started it again for another 5 to 10 minutes. And when the cod was at room temperature where I could touch it, I took my bowl, my impeccably clean hands, and I cut it into little, little small pieces like this. Okay, this is what you have here. So this is the cod. This is what it looks like once it's um, all the salt's been boiled out of it and it's into small pieces. Now, the next thing I do is we add an onion to this. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and use um, this medium size here uh, onion. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is take the skin off. And I'm going to cut this into medium sized pieces. Medium sized dice pieces, I should say. To make it a little easier and to give it a little texture when we eat the cod. Okay. One piece. So good. Now you can use green onions if you want, or chives, but uh, and either one's fine. But for this recipe, I'm going to go ahead and use you know, my, my regular uh, Spanish onion. Okay? So I'm going to take my hand like here over the top. I'm going to cut little slices in it like this. I'm going to go down here like this. Don't worry if it does that, that's fine. Fingers out of the way. There you go. And my eyes are starting to burn. That's what onions do. A little trick on onions: if you want, if you want them to not burn your eyes so much, you put them in the refrigerator for maybe a half an hour to an hour, and uh, then it won't burn your eyes near as much. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this whole onion. I think I need it for this almost one pound recipe of salted cod. Okay, I'm gonna hold it together like this. You have these pieces are coming out to be perfectly medium sized dice pieces. Nice. Okay. All the onions are now in the bowl. Good, excellent. Good to go on that. Wipe this down a little bit. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is add a tomato. Now, what I'm going to go is add, add all those onions to that, okay, to that dish. That's going to be fabulous. Okay, that's my onions. Now, I'm going to add a little tomato. Top off. Now, I'm not going to concasse this tomato, meaning I'm not going to remove the skin and the seeds. I'm just going to remove the seeds, okay? So, I'm going to slice it then remove the seeds, just like this with my fingers. Okay. See, I'm taking all the seeds out. Now, I'm removing all the seeds because the seeds are going to bring too much water to the dish. And I don't want a lot of water in the dish because I'm going to put oil in it. I want the oil to be my moisture, not so much the water of the tomatoes. Okay, so I'm removing all the seeds as much as you can. Don't worry if there's a couple of them in there. No, that's fine. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this into, again, a little medium size, bite size pieces. Okay, put that in my bowl. Cut some out here. These guys. Okay. How easy is that so far? Pretty simple, right? Now, Roma tomatoes have a little less um, um, seeds in it, which is why I use these guys. Okay. Nice. Okay, so now 
I'm going to add that to my already cut tomatoes that I did earlier today. So for this recipe, I use probably about four tomatoes because I really do love tomatoes. And who doesn't love tomatoes? We get a little extra lycopene and that's really good for you. Okay? Now, so that's that. Now the next thing we do is we add, I'm going to go ahead and get my, my oil heated. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add olive oil to this dish. Okay? Now some cultures, what they do, some countries what they do is they actually add everything to the pot and then they cook it. I'm going to actually do the opposite. I'm going to heat the oil, add my heated oil to the dish. That way, the oils um, are going to macerate tomatoes and the onions. They're going to soften them and it's going to allow all the flavors of the cod to kind of blend together nicely. Okay. So, plus, it maintains the texture of the cod, which is what I really want. I want a nice piece of cod when I bite it. I don't want it to be mushy. If you cook it, potentially it could be too mushy. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. My pan is nice and hot. And I'm going to get the oil heated here. Now this is olive oil. Um, and olive oil can take temperatures up to 400 degrees. Okay, That's not frying temperature necessarily. Well, actually it is. But it's pretty hot. So when I start seeing whiffs of um, a little bit of the smoke, not smoke, but you know a little bit of heat coming through there, that's when the olive oil is ready to go and I'm going to add it. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and add What's really different about this dish in my country is we use a scotch bonnet or a habanero pepper. Habanero pepper, very hot. These guys are like 300,000 Scoville units on the heat chart. Very hot, okay? They're one of the hottest ones on the planet. So we add that. I took the seeds out and that's what I have here. These are little small diced um, habaneros and I'm going to go ahead and add, okay? So I'm going to add that right here to this dish. And while my olive oil is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and add some cilantro, okay, and that's going to be fabulous. Let's mark this down, and I'm just going to do a little not julienne, little mince on that. I'm going to julienne it for starters, and then I'm going to do a little, little rough chop, okay? It doesn't have to be a mince, it can just be a rough chop, because I like to see the actual cilantro in this dish. Okay, the little pieces of the cilantro is really nice. So all that gets added to this right here. How does that look? Is that good or what? Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. Nice. And the last thing I'm going to add to finish my dish here is I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. It's already got that heat in it, but I'm going to add a little black pepper for additional flavor. And now I see, if you take a look at the uh, pot here, you'll see a little bit of smoke coming around the edges. That means my oil is ready. So listen to the sound. This is the sound that you want. Step back. Be careful. That's what you want. So now what I'm going to do is gently fold this together like this. Is that looking good or what? Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm going to fold it together nicely. And all I'm doing is I'm incorporating the onions, the tomatoes, the cilantro, that scotch bonnet, that black pepper. Oh my gosh, is that good? That's it. Okay, so now if I wanted to do this overnight, I could. Now what may happen is because tomato has water in it, it may weep a little bit, but it's not going to have as much water. If you wanted to add a little bit more oil to that, you very well could. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is the last finishing touches on our dish here today is we like to pair this with an avocado and here's how I cut this avocado. Cut it in half like this. Okay, twist it. Got a beautiful avocado. And what you do is you take the seed out like that. Okay, how easy was that? Okay, in this case then you take a, a spoon, you go around the edges, and it comes right out. Is that beautiful? Yeah, that's lovely. Avocado is so good for you. It's full of fiber. Who knew that, right? And it's got the good cholesterol that we want. So what we do is we put a couple of pieces on the plate, like so. Put a little bit of a cod plate, like so. Right? couple pieces of bread, oh my gosh, to sop up those juices, and a little bit of 
Cilantro is my garnish. Okay, and that's it. That is salted cod that my mother taught me to make. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for coming to my kitchen today. See you next time.